Hello there my friends, welcome to our new video. Today I'm, uh, I'm going to show you a bug we have here on TP-Link Archer C7 router. Uh, this bug is related with the IGMP proxy as I reported back to TP-Link and they just uh, can't figure it out what's happening and so I decided to record this video and show you exactly what's going on with this bug in the latest firmware all right what exactly is happening here uh, I will do here a speed test then uh, I'm using a, a good server for testing okay I'll show you my speed. So now we have 270, 60, 50, 40, 30. So as you can see, about 200 megabits per second of download and upload we will have 250. Yes, more or less. okay so about it very nice so uh, I have contracted here from my IS ISP uh, 50 uh, hundred megabits per second for download and 250 of upload all right so now we have this so uh, with this problem here just uh, happening in this computer and another computer that uses another TP-Link Ethernet uh, LAN card and so I tried to figure out what exactly is happening because the other computers are just function uh, just working normally this this PC here I have uh, an external TP-Link USB um, gigabit Ethernet adapter and so uh, the internet here is connected. This, this card is connected here on a USB 2.0, all right? And so I don't, I don't have the completely speed for download here because the USB 2.0 is speed threshold, okay? And so uh, this is very weird why we don't have the maximum speed for USB 2.0 and so I was just messing around with the configurations here on the router okay it's in Portuguese because I'm from Brazil alright so I will click here in advanced and then uh, I will go here in network IPTV VLAN okay as you can see, I don't use IGMP snoop and proxy. I don't have uh, any IPTV here connected, so I don't need to use it. So everything is just disabled here, all right? So I will enable IGMP proxy and click save. Let's wait out to so the router save the configuration. All the LAN ports will go dark and they'll go back again for just one or two seconds so I'll wait here for it to complete the the process takes a while it's almost done and done alright let's test the internet again using the same server of course nothing will change here okay I will just show you exactly what's going on here nothing will change it will about 250 megabytes per second to 220 230 and so on okay so it's functioning normally and 250 megabits per second from for upload okay 
nothing has changed as you can see all right so I'm going back to configurations here on the router and I will disable IGMP proxy and save the configuration so all the ports then ports will go black and we go up again let's wait out when I say all the ports will go black because all the, the LED LEDs will just go dark and will go late again okay on the router so I just did let's test it again all right so you can see now improvement on the speed now I get 300 megabits per second on a USB 2.0 okay so it's the maximum speed for the USB 2.0 threshold so it's completely normally now and 250 megabits per second on at load speed all right let's do the test once again just confirm okay as you can see from 220 230 40 50 now we have 300 megabits per second a little more but about 300 yes 301 nice and 250 on upload good so as you can see something related to two IGMP proxy configuration I don't know why it just behaves on this kind of uh, procedure I don't know exactly what is happening here I don't know if it's some kind of a co incompatibility or something but I just want to show to tip a link exactly what is happening with their latest firmware for Archer C7 version 5 okay so that's quite it uh, anything you wanna discuss about this video if you have the same bug or something else just um, happening with your network just like this uh, problem I'm showing you here well I'm open to discussion okay so thank you once more and I hope this video can be uh, something uh, especially for tip link to solve this problem in the next upgrades for Archer C7 router okay thank you very much for watching and so long <laughs>